Hi again, I'm Carson from Guys With Games, and today we're going to learn how to play Wheel of Fortune in the ESL classroom. Wheel of Fortune is another American TV game show that plays very similar to Hangman, except that instead of trying to find one word, we're trying to solve for a sentence by guessing one letter at a time. And there's this wheel. This wheel in TV is worth money. In our classroom, it's worth points. So what I like to do is divide the class into multiple teams. In my opinion, this game is much more fun and engaging if there are more than two teams. So I'll try to divide my class into three, four, or even five teams and have them kind of uh, race to solve what this sentence says. You're going to need a magnet and a dice of some kind. I like to play with a dice that has more than six sides, but if you only have access to a six-sided dice, that's fine. You can use that as well. But we're going to draw this wheel on the board here with points and bombs. And so bombs kind of work the same way as bankrupt. The bankrupt tile works in the real game of Wheel of Fortune, but it's easier to understand for students. Bankrupt means you lose all your money, you have no money, but I don't want to teach this word. A bomb, they already know how this works. If you land on the bomb, boom, all of your points disappear. So what we need to do is put our magnet somewhere to start. Let's start it here on the one. And we'll choose someone to go first. Now you can make them do some type of English task at this point, but the game itself includes an English task, which is spelling out words to form a sentence. So I don't need to inject extra English tasks. What I would do is just choose somebody to go first and play in a clockwise fashion. And so let's say you're there first. You get to roll the dice. Let's see what you get. It's a nine. Okay, they got nine, so here's how the wheel works. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They landed on two points, which means the next step they need to do is to choose a letter that they feel might be in this sentence somewhere. And for each time that letter occurs, they get two points. So let's choose something that we can guess there might be a lot of. Let's choose the letter E. So I'll write it out. Let's see. Okay, there are one, two, three E's. Three times two is six. So I'll write six points here. And their turn isn't finished. They get a chance to guess what this sentence says. If they don't know, it's still pretty early. That's okay. We keep going. Now, in the American TV game show version, that player gets to keep going until they either hit a bomb or they solve the sentence or they guess a letter that's not in the sentence. But in my classroom version, I'm going to skip to the next team so that each team gets a chance to play many times. So let's roll the dice again. Let's say they get a three. Okay. One, two, three, and this team, you get to guess a letter. Maybe they say mm, Z. Okay, haha, ha, you're very funny. Z, guess what? There are no Zs in this sentence. So no points for this team, and then it becomes team three's turn. So they roll a dice, maybe they get a uh, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Let's see, they guess the letter T. Okay, there are the T's, they get two times one, so they get two points. Do you know the answer to this sentence? No, we don't. I'll go a few more times and we'll see if you, the viewer, can guess what this sentence says. To me, I'm guessing that this, le this word here is the, so I'll guess H next, but I'll roll a dice. Let's see, uh, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, they're here. Let's try H. Okay, finished. Okay, so let's see. One, two, three times one is three points. Do you know this answer? Not yet. Okay, so let's roll the dice again. And this time it's team one, your turn again. Four. One, two, three, four. Ooh, lucky. Okay, four. And let's say they want to guess A. Oh, I should write this too because a team guessed Z or Z and it wasn't here. So we need to keep track of the, the wrong guesses also, not only the words or the letters that have been chosen. So uh, where are we? Let's say A.
Okay. You have any idea what this sentence says? Maybe not yet. We'll do one more and then we'll leave it to the viewers to solve. Let's say they roll. Oh, so sorry. One, two, one, two, three. Three times one. So one, two, three. Team two, your turn. Roll the dice. Okay. You get a three. One, two, three. Here we go. And let's say they say the letter G. Okay. One. Here we go. So one, two, three times two. There's six points. And is that enough for you to guess? I don't know. Let's find out. So if you think you know the solution to this sentence, uh, this exclamatory sentence, let us know in the comments. Otherwise, this is how you play the game. We find whoever finds the answer, I guess I would give them the points. In the real game show, the other teams who didn't find the answer lose all their points, and you could play again. But I like to let them keep going. So I might play two or three sentences, depending on how fast the game moves along and um, maybe how much time I have in the classroom. But this is how you play. And thanks again for watching. We'll see you next week. Have a good day.